tip this week also is about how you can improve ribbing or seed stitch or get rid of the ladders for cables as some of the earlier tips. This is a different technique you can use. Now you can see in this little sample of knit one, purl one rib and then stockingette that the ribbing isn't very ribbed. The stitches are large and they're much larger when compared to the stockingette. If I had pulled the yarn forward tightly that would have fixed this. Um, but I used a different technique. Here you can see a better example of what it should look like. The ribs are close and compact and the size of the knit stitches in the ribbing are closer to the knit stitches in the stocking net. Now pulling the yarn forward can be difficult for some people if they have hand issues. Uh, it can also be a little tricky if you're a continental knitter. This technique, <coughs> excuse my cold, works as well and so it's another one you can try to do this, to improve this. Now, I've cast on a few stitches and I'm going to do ribbing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit the stitch like I would. And now, if I were using the other technique, I would be pulling the yarn forward very, very, very tightly and then purling the stitch and putting the yarn over the needle. And you can see that that is quite a bit of yarn that I'm using. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my yarn forward and I'm going to bring it under the needle. And that uses very little yarn. I'm going to knit as normal, and but when I purl, I'm going to bring the yarn under the needle. Knit under. And this is the same thing I did last week with the um, last bind off stitch. It makes the stitch smaller and tighter when you wrap the yarn in the opposite direction. Alright, now I have finished the first row and if I note, look, notice that the stitches do not seem oriented properly. For the knit stitches, normally the right leg of the stitch is on top, but in this case it's the left leg of the stitch is presenting itself for those knit stitches. So in, if I were to knit it normally, I would be twisting that stitch. So on the row following, I need to knit through the back. Now here's where I'm going to purl again. I'm going to purl through the back. My knit stitch, the right leg is in the back. The left leg is on top, so I need to knit through the right leg. That means I knit it through the back. Purl. Knit, purl through the back, knit, purl, knit, purl, that's a purl stitch. Now I can use the same technique for seed stitch, I can use it for the first purl stitch after a cable and it will make that following purl stitch tighter and smaller and it will give me this neater looking yarn, uh, neater looking fabric. The thing you have to remember though is that you've got to work that stitch through the back loop. Now many continental knitters who have problems with their uh, purl rows being over large in stocking net can do this as well. If they wrap that purl row following the knit row the wrong way and then knit those stitches through the back on the next row, they can often solve their tension issues. This is called combination knitting.